find out. The term lycanthrope is derived from the Greek myth of Lycaon, the king of Arcadia, renowned for his cruelty. He was later transformed into a wolf by Zeus, turned into a monster as punishment for his own monstrous actions. But lycanthrope, as we all know, is just another name for werewolf. The half-man, half-wolf legend, which appears in dozens of different cultures, from the Vilkatas of Lithuania to the Wakalik of Russia, to the more commonly known Blue Guru of France. Now, contrary to some belief, the werewolf's abilities are not beholden to the full moon. Rather, they can be called upon at will. Now, those abilities are ranging from incredible speed to remarkable agility, able to move in the bipedal run, while equally adept as a quadruped. Yes, I'm aware of lycanthropy, the psychological disorder in which a person mistakenly believes himself to be a wild animal. I'm not here to discuss that. I'm not talking about the disorder of the mind. I'm talking about werewolves the actual and proven existence of werewolves. This is the guy. This is your cure. So who is he? Well, his real name's Dr. Conrad Haberland. What do you mean his real name? He had illegally changed, and that's how I know I got the right guy. You want to know what he changed it to? Dr. Conrad Fenris. Are you serious? Yes. You have no idea what that means, do you? No. Okay, well, Fenris was the son of Loki in Norse mythology, okay? Here. See? See the guy in the horse? He's the wolf, dumbass. Look, he's supposed to be the influence for the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, so why'd this guy change his name? You saw the video, everyone was laughing at him, the idiot ruined himself. So. Why would he change his name to a giant wolf? Uh, probably because he still believes. Okay, so what makes you so sure that he, he's got a cure? Well, I'm not, uh, but I've, I've watched like all this guy's videos, okay? He knows everything that there is to know about werewolves, and I mean everything. Just listen to this. Myths like these propagate across all cultures. The idea is that you could wear an animal skin and take on the attributes of that animal. Warriors known as berserkers would drape themselves in the pelts of bears and were seen to fight in uncontrollable, almost trance-like fury. That's where we derive the term berserk. Now, were these berserkers convincing themselves of this animal fury? Or was it actually happening? This is the closest thing we got to a certified expert. Except Derek. There you go, just mentioning his name again. Well, I, okay, do you enjoy hurting me? Hey, how are we gonna find this guy? I already did. So what? I think he thinks we're following him. No, he doesn't. Well, he's walking faster. No, he's not. Okay, we're definitely walking faster. Well, that's because he's walking faster. He probably thinks we're gonna mug him. We're not gonna mug him, we're just gonna talk to him. I think he thinks we're gonna mug him. If he thought we were gonna mug him, he'd be... running. Get him. Hey, 
Take it! The car, take the wallet, take everything. Just don't hurt me! No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Again. We're, we're, we're sorry, we just, we just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes. About what? Just a few questions, please. I'm sorry, but no. I don't talk about that anymore. Please, it won't take long at all. Just a few questions. He said no. What now? Plan B. Am I gonna regret plan B? Only if we get caught. say that about all my ideas. That's because they're all bad ideas. Well, you learn more from failures than successes. You must be a genius by now. Freaking. <laughs> what did we learn from that failure? <laughs> it's funny. Wolf's got jokes tonight. That's good. Okay. All right. I think if I think if I could climb up here, it seems sturdy enough. So I, I think I could get up and if you oh, could lift hey. me. Ah, uh, that might work. It's good find. He talked about doing years of research. Okay, so there's gotta be books, journals, photos, something. We're just gonna steal them, are we? No, we're just gonna get what we need, and I'm gonna grab them on my phone. Good plan. Thank you. Get out. Get out of my house right now. Uh, absolutely. Five minutes, please. Just a few questions. If you cannot see the gun in my hand, I can recommend a good eye doctor. Otherwise, get out of my house or I will shoot you. Five minutes? We, we, we would not do this unless we had a really good reason. I changed my name to get away from nut jobs like you who think this crap is real. Wait, so you don't believe it? Of course not. Well, then why'd you change your name to Fenris? I was actually the one who figured that out. Just FYI. Uh, I, I think you believe it. I don't think you're gonna shoot us. How do you know that? Well, you're a doctor. Don't doctors take an oath? Do no harm? God, I hate that oath. I was living in Wisconsin. A woman was rushed into my ER. Unconscious. I was told it was a hunting accident. 
that an arrow intended for a white-tailed deer hit her instead. I removed the arrow and she woke up. Thirty minutes later, the wound was gone. You mean healed? As if it never happened. I learned two things that day. That there are some people in this world who heal with an ability that science can't explain. Imagine what that means to somebody who's dedicated his life to healing. It's like catching a glimpse of the Holy Grail. What's the second thing? There are also some people in this world who want to kill them. You want to guess where they use an arrow? She wouldn't heal until it was taken out. They also cut them in half. Sever the body, there's no way it'll heal. Why did they want them dead? Fear of the unknown. Fear of something more powerful than yourself. Though I, I can't imagine why anybody would be afraid of someone like this. I spent five years looking for her. Found her here in Beacon Hills and then she disappeared. All I found was this old photograph of her and a young man. Probably her son. When I connected the woman to the werewolf myth, I found that there were differences between those born and those bitten. Those families who were born into it were said to have a ritual once a year on the wolf moon. For what moon? Native Americans gave every full moon a name. Uh, February is the ice moon. Storm moon in March. They call January the wolf moon because hungry wolves would howl outside the villages in midwinter. What was the ritual? It's like a family reunion. They would get together and perform rites of passage. They would draw power from one another. Supposedly they were stronger together in packs. The alpha, the beta, even the omegas, the lowest of the wolves. They have all each contributed to the strength of the pack. They each... Damn it! Are you okay? My housekeeper doesn't want me to smoke, so she's hiding my cigarettes. You're a doctor and you smoke cigarettes? You know, I think your five minutes is about up. Okay, all right, I know, just um, one more question, please. Is there a cure? For what? You said there's, there's differences between werewolves who are bit. C can he, uh, or her, I, well, whoever it may be, uh, Can they be cured? Yes. Cut them in half. Death cures all ailments. Look, I'm sorry. I researched this for 15 years. I've never heard of a cure. Really, why are you so interested in this? It's just a myth, it's a legend. You sure about that? I am beyond sure. I have the certainty of someone who has completely and totally destroyed his personal and his professional reputation for some idiotic obsession. Do you have any idea what it's like to know that you have ruined your life? It's one thing to blame others, but it's another when you did it to yourself. God, I could use a cigarette. Your five minutes are up. You still believe it, though, don't you? Sometimes. But then I snap back to reality. You know, maybe there are some people who miraculously heal themselves, have heightened senses, perfect sight or sense of smell. But werewolves? It's not possible. You're welcome. Thank you for your five minutes. Uh, and your housekeeper's right. You, you really should quit smoking. But if you really need one, they're uh, in the bookshelf. Third shelf behind the books.